Microphone, microphone, yes, we're live, we're live. How's everyone doing? NFC Lisbon, how are we feeling? Let me hear some noises, let me hear some... Yes, come on, it's the second day of conference. We are all here because it's NFC, non-fungible conference. We are not fungible. Every single one over here is non-fungible. I want to talk to you a little bit about control, why control is the most badass ordinals project that exists. But if I say the words on chain, you have full license to come and shoot me, throw water at me, tomatoes, whatever you want. At Control, we are all about abstracting the technology and telling a little bit about the human story behind the technology. Why are we all here? Why are we all here today? I'm going to talk about three main topics. I'm going to talk today about how slavery never ended. I'm going to talk about your first love that you ever experienced. And I want to talk about how every single person in here is one of the most special human beings on the planet because you are all no ordinary kind. No ordinary kind is the title of our new collection and it actually represents all of you. I do need a pointer, by the way, to move the slideshow. So could I have one of those? Um, but while I'm getting that, on the topic of slavery, people think that slavery ended a long time ago and it's abolished and it's disappeared from the face of the earth and it's a taboo and nobody talks about it because it's an embarrassing history that we never really acknowledge. Have any of you opened up your credit card statements recently? What does it look like? Does it look good to you? I mean, what do your bank statements look like? What does the bill look like when you go to the supermarket? What are your rents looking like? Travel, you guys like to travel, you guys all travel here. Is that getting cheaper? This is a new form of slavery. Slavery just transformed. It just took a completely different form. And we are all in handcuffs and shackles and we are shackled to this machine that has been created. It is not your fault, by the way. If you guys are, have got huge amounts of debt, that is not your fault. We have been fed debt like crack cocaine for the past few decades by governments whose interests are aligned with keeping us in this flywheel. They want to keep us spending. They want to keep uh, their economy turning because that allows them to collect more tax from us. That allows them to retain more power from us. That allows them, that allows them to remain in control. And what we are about at Control is releasing you from all that or at least giving you some kind of awareness of the situation that we are all in together so that we can find ways to release ourselves from, from control. Ordinals, ordinals are evolving Bitcoin culture and the reason is is because Bitcoin will play a role in the story that I'm about to tell you. And now you have this cultural white space that's opened up on Bitcoin that allows us to express our art, that allows, us, that allows each one of you to express your non-fungibility on Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is the technology that will provide a life raft for us to save us from this slavery that we are in, this endless cycle of debt and money printing and working ourselves to the bone. You know, Gen Z in the US have on average two jobs just to pay their rent. It's the first generation in history that is poorer than the previous generation. Think about that. Every generation so far has become more wealthier except for Gen Z. These guys are going backwards. Why? It's because of this system that has been created. These people are, have no possible way to own a home. Absolutely none. Everybody's renting and everybody's living paycheck to paycheck. It's because we have become addicted to fiat currency, which is deflating. Every single day we are getting poorer and poorer and poorer. Our central bankers and our politicians, they talk about inflation coming down. The UK's central banker just last week 
said that inflation is coming down. An hour later, the inflation's number, numbers came up and inflation was going up. An hour later. That's how screwed up the system is. They're lying to you in your face. Do not fall for it. Do not fall for it. Jump off centralized finance. Jump out of fiat currency. Jump into Bitcoin. But the coolest part about it is that now Bitcoin has culture. And so now you are participating in a financial system that expresses your individuality. Your individuality is the most precious thing on the planet. It's what makes us all non-fungible. And so how cool is it to have a financial system where we can express this non-fungibility? Speaking of fungibility, I also wanted to talk to you about time. You know, a lot of people think time is fungible. One minute is the same as the next minute. But if you speak to somebody who's been told by a doctor that they have very, very little time left remaining, ask them about how similar one moment is to the other. Every moment becomes pressure. Every moment becomes non-fungible. And it's the same with Bitcoin and Satoshis. Right now, you know, the Satoshis are worth a fraction of a dollar. People don't really care about Satoshis. There's 100 million Satoshis in one Bitcoin. But as the price of Bitcoin increases, I'm not going to talk about price too much, but what I will say is that people are looking at the price of Bitcoin in the wrong way. Everybody gets excited. Oh, Bitcoin reclaimed 60K. Oh, Bitcoin reclaimed 70K. Amazing, amazing. My bags, my bags. But actually, Bitcoin is an index. It's like a mirror of things breaking down in society. In October, uh, on October 16th last year, BlackRock announced it was launching a Bitcoin ETF. That is the breakdown of Wall Street. Wall Street fractured, onboarded onto Bitcoin, and you saw Bitcoin's price react. Now we have government officials all trying to beat themselves up to support Bitcoin to win an election. So now Bitcoin has beaten governments and, uh, and, and, and these politicians. The last domino is going to be when Bitcoin beats centralized finance. And you will see that in the next one to two years, all of the currencies that we use, euros, dollars, whatever, they're on a path to hyperinflation. Things that you see in many other countries are going to be experienced here. And that is when people will really understand this shift of hard assets and why it is important to be in Bitcoin and the hardest asset that is known, uh, the hardest asset that is known to Earth, on Earth. And so, at Control, when we first started, we really recognized the value of Satoshis and rare Satoshis. Rare Sats are actually a financial system that exists within Bitcoin itself. There are Satoshis that are mined on certain parts of Bitcoin's time cycle that are incredibly, incredibly important. Just to put this into context, the halvening, which you may have heard of, happened uh, last month, is a shift w for uh, Bitcoin when it goes from uh, six and a half uh, Bitcoin issued per mining block to three, uh, three and two quarters. That will never happen again. The first Satoshi of the halving block sold for $2 million. And it's just one Satoshi. The value of one Satoshi right now is $0.001. That one Satoshi sold for $2 million. And we, and we are not even in a situation where Bitcoin's price has done anything in the recent past. And so we think at Control that rare sats are going to be some of the most expensive, some of the most prized assets on the most prized chain on Earth. And that is why our entire collection at Control, our Genesis collection that launched last year, is completely inscribed on uncommon Satoshis. These are the first Satoshis of every block. We also started panning for rare sats very, very early. In January of last year, we were putting millions and millions of dollars through exchanges to try and find and unearth the rarest possible Satoshis. We found the first ever rare sat, and we inscribed it. I almost said on chain there. I almost, almost. <laughs> and we inscribed it. And then we found a second rare sat. And our new collection, which is called No Ordinary Kind, is going to be, be parent-child related to both of these rare sats. 
also wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about our approach. You saw the funeral that we executed yesterday. Why do we do stuff like this? Like, you know, we are always known for doing crazy shit. And it's because, like, the technology really is, it's important, but it's not as important as the human factor. This message that I've told you, it needs to resonate with people outside of this room. And if we are going to onboard the next 100 million people, we have to make them feel something. And that is why I was saying to you earlier, we try to evoke the same kind of emotions that you felt when you, were in your, you had your first love, when you had your first romance. We, we call ourselves Feel Something Specialists at Seize Control. And I hope that what I'm about to show you a little bit later is something that is going to make you... Uh, make you feel something. So keep your eyes on, um, can we cue the video please? Um, keep your, can we cue the video? Keep your eyes on No Ordinary Kind. It's all about you guys. And this is our launch video. Hope you enjoy it.